Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today to spend a few moments in the Word of God and pray with you. This week we are addressing the subject of mental health and just talking about a few aspects of our mental wholeness and well-being from the scriptures. And I want to bring to our attention today, as we did yesterday, that God can give us a soul that prospers. That is a soul that thrives, that is like a well-watered garden that is flourishing, that is fruitful, that is uh, completely whole and well. God can bless us, each one of us, with that kind of an emotional, mental state of being, or what we would say as mental health or wholeness. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, the, verse 23, the Apostle Paul, as he pronounces his closing words, we would usually say benediction upon God's people, he says, May the God of peace, that is God above, may he sanctify you completely. He set your apart. He does his you know, cleansing work, his sanctifying work. And may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless. To the, to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So as part of his benediction, now the benediction is a pronouncement of what we desire, or what we uh, expect God to do for us. And in that, Paul says, may God preserve you, spirit, soul, and body. May your total being, and of course we are emphasizing the soul part, which is the mind, will, and emotions, may be preserved blameless. Some, one translation presents that as be kept healthy and faultless until Jesus Christ comes or whoever, until, we, you know, until death takes us out of the world or until we're alive and Christ returns. But as, as we journey, the God of peace, He's doing His work in us and part of His work in us is to keep us healthy and faultless, spirit, soul, and body. You and I can expect God to keep us, to preserve us, to keep us healthy in our soul. That as we journey through life, He keeps us healthy and whole. Similarly, John, as he pronounces his prayer and well-being, to a prayer and benediction towards God's people, he says in 3 John, Chapter 1, verse 2, he says, I beloved, I pray that above all things that you prosper, be in health, even as your soul prospers. He's talking about them being well in every way. Prosper, be in health, physical health, even as your soul, your emotional being prospers. So our God can work in us to bring us to a place where our soul prospers, that we are doing well emotionally in our mental health. And that's the blessing we pray for you, that God will do for you. And we want to receive that from the Lord and walk in it each and every day. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will work in us so that our soul will be kept healthy and faultless. That we will prosper in our soul. We'll have a flourishing, enriched, fruitful life emotionally whole in our soul, in our mental health. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.